Welcome to lesson 1.2 of your dynamic small business search course. In this lesson, I'll briefly explain what you'll learn and more importantly, what you'll accomplish by the end of each module and of the course. You're a very busy person. I have no uh, interest in teaching you about the ups and downs of the federal government or even DSBS. My only goal with this course is to help you create a clear, concise, and compelling DSBS profile that'll help you win more government work. As you go through the course, I'll first make sure you understand how the government uses each part. Then we'll take a look at how your competitors and the government are doing it themselves. And finally, we'll complete each part of the profile based on what we learned in the review. So we'll understand it, we'll analyze it, and we'll complete it. That's the approach. As you can see already here on the slide, there's four parts to your profile. Basic company information is as you think it is, such as address, uh, website, contact information, etc. Then we'll go into NAICS codes, making sure you have all the NAICS listed that any buyer could possibly use for your type of work. Next, we'll dive into keywords, which is the number one method for searching anywhere these days, right? And especially in DSBS. Finally, we'll go over your capabilities narrative. This is the answer you should give to someone at a networking event when they say, what do you do? You wouldn't start off by saying, well, I'm a woman-owned business or a veteran-owned business. No, you dive into something far more interesting, but without all the technical jargon that would cause them to walk away from you. That's the capabilities narrative or elevator speech. So this course will definitely require that you think and you work, but so too are your potential customers, and you know you have to do it. So do it now and do it this once, and you'll have a much easier road to success in the federal market. Let's go over some of the things you need to do before moving on to the next module. You're not here to learn, you're here to get things done, right? You don't have a lot of time to waste, you just wanna get those things done and I wanna help you, so let's make sure you're prepared. First, print out the DSBS checklist. You'll use this to track changes to your DSBS profile that you need to make. During this course, we won't actually update your profile. We'll do that on the DSBS checklist. We'll wait to the very end and then do it all at once. So pause the video and print out the DSBS checklist. Go ahead and pause it now and you'll find it in the downloadable section. Okay, next you wanna confirm access to all the sites we're gonna use during our course. So first open up a new browser window, not just a tab, and type in dsbs.sba.gov. dsbs.sba.gov, that's the foundational site we're gonna use. Next, you're gonna open up another tab, and this one you're gonna type in fbo.gov, fbo.gov, and you'll learn about this as we go forward. And then finally, a third tab to open up fpds.gov, fpds.gov. If you're doing it in a new window, then you can be watching this video and, and seeing this slide right here with the URLs. So don't worry about what these things are at the moment, just get the sites open in that new browser window with a tab for each. Again, go ahead and pause the video if you want to do it now. You'll, uh, you can see that the URLs I want you to open are right here. And when you have them open, come back to this video. All right, last thing I want you to do is check your own DSBS profile, since that's what we're going to review through this entire course and what we want to improve at the end. Go to the DSBS window and tab that you have open. Find the section searching for a specific profile near the bottom. It's on the bottom third of this, searching for a specific profile. In there, you're gonna see that you could enter into your cage code or your DUNS number. Using one of those, find your profile and confirm you see your company's information. Go ahead right now and do this. Pause the video and go do that. You wanna use your DUNS number or your cage code. And I'll just wait until you come back. Okay, you should have your DSBS profile open now. You can see your company. Um, your DSBS checklist is ready. And now you're prepared to dive further into the course. Let's go ahead and do just that. I'm going to see you at the next module when we're really going to get started.